Louise Bailey here, Cute Nick Studio. And uh, here is the larger version of my nature journal. I already posted a video of a, a smaller one, a little bit of nature. Uh, anyway, so this one's a, a lot bigger and uh, got lots of stuff on here. Got a little dangly owl and some bees, deer, and then down here, got fox and rabbit, four leaf clover. This fabric my sister gave me years and years ago. It's fantastic. And then we have a nice big fluffy dangle. Kind of reminded me, you know, you go out in nature and you just see mossy stuff and lichen and everything. And uh, this was a bit of a scarf. And I have some other, uh, some more throughout the book. Okay, well, let's tuck in and see what's in here. Lots of stuff. Um, so I have this envelope. It has like a green flower design. Sorry, I've still got glue on my fingers. Um, flowers. This was a shirt, a thrift store shirt I got. It's like an old navy and it's just, I love it. I wanted some contrast. And then these journal cards. These were gifted to me from a pen pal. So you can run on the backs. Lots of glue on my fingers. Um, and here we have a woodpecker stamp. And then part of the stationery, I just decorated it. So it was just plain, this plain green. And I dressed it up some. And you can write it in it. You can also tuck your own things in the envelope. And here's more of that scarf. There's a thrift store scarf. This a uh, um, a um, pen pal gave me. And then a vintage die cut in here. We have some mushroom and then it opens up. So you can write here. And then this little pocket have another little collaged pocket and inside a journal card. And it tucks in there and a little sunflower. So lots of nature everywhere and all kinds of nature. Not just one season, but all the seasons are in this book. on the belly band. Then here, a bit of book, some greenery there, some little, uh, somebody gifted me these and you can use them as bookmarks or right on the back, put your own little things in this pocket. This, I got a whole set of these at a, a estate sale. And there's just pressed flowers in here. So you can write on that on the back. And then this, um, this was from a book. These, my daughter, she's a baker, um, but she also makes jewelry. And she made these little beaded things. They're so cute, uh, very intricate. And then in here, a journal card. And that's from a bottle of wine that I enjoyed over time. <laughs> and then you can write on the back of that. So how cool is that? Um, that's how I pick up my wine, is by the label. <laughs> Can I use it on Chuck Turtle? And then here, uh, some costume jewelry and some more of that stationery. And here's a little, a little puffin. And then this I hand stamped. I have this uh, rubber stamp, so I stamped it. And it folds out, and you have some little note cards. Folds in like that. And then here, you can see it's just, I love eclectic. All over the place, but it just makes my eyes happy. So I've got another little pocket here. And you can write on the back of that if you want. 
in this little pocket. And then it opens up so you can write some notes. And this is a little mini journal. Oh, this is a stamp I have, so I stamped that on there. Scrushed it up some to write on the back. Little pocket there, and this opens up. You can write on write in that. A little owl. And here we have a butterfly. Right on the back of that. And nests and eggs. You can write on the back of that. And lots of this is hand stamped ribbon and lots of pockets. And then over here, another, this is a corner pocket with some mushroom flowers. Got some little dangles here. It's always fun. Somebody gifted me this. They, it looks like they hand stamped that leaf on there. And uh, you can see on the inside, it's a book they turned into a pocket. And then I just put this paper in there, some nice wrinkly, weathered paper that you can write on. And you can add more. That's the lovely thing about junk journals. is lots of little secret hidden little tuck spots that you can tuck your own little memorabilia or whatnots in it. Make your own stationery. This is a, um, a top pocket. You have to pardon these little ants everywhere. <laughs> it is the time of year where ants just decide to come in through the air conditioning in my little craft studio, I have a little cottage studio. And I do apologize, but I cannot keep them out. Um, another one of those little beaded things that my daughter made, got it dangling down. It's like a little snowflake or a star. And then uh, a guest check. And inside, I made it into a little pocket. And you can write on the back, you can write there. I've got some more flowers, um, flower owls and uh, right on the back of that it's a little pocket moth pocket here this is a belly band you can tuck your own thing but I didn't want to hide that bird um, on there because it's so cute uh, some lace a little owl flower bird nest another bird you can write on the back of that and I um, just sewed on that this decoupage laced it up now over here, uh, these are some, uh, this is a zipper that I cut, but I decided to use it as a, um, as trim. I just love that. Um, and then here, some corrugated cardboard and dressed up. This was gifted to me, but I've added more to it. But you can, I did add this on the back and you can journal, a mini journal on the back. And then another little journal card and a little bookmark I made, a little tag bookmark. Beautiful little ensemble. Lots of fun stuff going on here. Oh, this is fun. So this little clip, this clips it in. And uh, I took this frame the back, uh, the drawing of the, the mushroom there, that is from a, a whole bunch of embroidery patterns I got at a thrift store in Johnson City. <clears throat> and um, I added the stickers to it. Um, and then it, it's a little shaker, so there's some little star sequins in there. And then the back is actually, you can, it's like a little mini journal. And then this is some paper I added the washi tape to because it's just so lovely. And it's lots of space. And then this pine cone pocket fabric. And then here um, I added the little dragonflies. Just clip it in there. Somebody gifted me these mushroom cards. You can journal in the back of them. And then, then here we've got some acorns and it is actually a belly band. I didn't add anything because I don't want to fill I want whoever gets this to fill it up with their own stuff as well. I just decorated it. And then this, I crumpled up some paper bag, inked it, made it look real distressed. Took some German paper and added some collage, decoupage to it. It's a little pocket so you can write on that. And then it opens up 
And there's a cute little nature. This is probably too big, but these are pockets, so you can tuck things in there. Fun, fun. And then a belly band I made with some book bits. And this is a piece of paper, stationary, with some birds. And then this little hummingbird is a pocket. You can write on that. It's a little time punch card. And then these little playing cards. They're old and weathered and fun and naturey. I added the mushrooms to that one. This is an old, um, back in the day, you would put film strips in it. I got a whole box, a wooden box, came with loads of these and then some smaller ones. And I decoupaged over it. I added some this long strip of paper that you can use to write, you know, lists on. And then I decorated the outside of it. And it's fun and crinkly. The one thing about junk journals, it's not just what you see, it's what you um, feel, touch, textures, and hear. Crinkle sounds are lovely. And then another piece of stationery. So you can write on that. More birds. Um, a little pocket there. And then some, I've got this little beaver here next to the tree. This was a cloth um, sample. It was like a fabric sample, about five or six of them. I put that button there, and this is a, a an enamel pin. I took the backing off but to make it look like the moon, and it's the moth flying to the moon in the trees. And then you've got a little owl up here in the trees. And then this little pocket, some stationery in there, paper. So that was real fun. And then on this side, this is a, a key, but it looks like an owl. So that was fitting for this nature themed journal. This was a set from a set of um, napkin rings. Um, so I have like four or five of them, maybe even six. And then you can write on the little journal card. And that's supposed to be like that. Sorry. So you open it up, you actually see the mama and the baby. Which I think is just darling. And then I made another little tag. And here this is called um, Ransom Note Poetry. So you cut bits and pieces out from various places. And I just made a little poem. Uh, so yeah, this opens like this. And then you've got this little tag here. And you open it. And then you can journal here. You can journal here. And then in here, got some paper, a little mini book you can write in. Slips right in there. And then this, you can write on the back of that. I've left a little sticker you can put anywhere you want. You can write on the back. Pop that in there. This um, opens up and you can write there. Lots of spaces in this part. And this is just a, a, a fun little pocket journal card type thing. So there's some papers there I hooked together with a little box. And then over here, there's lots of little papers there. And a little scrappy pocket I made. Oops, put that in there like that. There's some more of that zipper. Pop it in there. Oh, and this opens up too. I think there's even more than even just this. Okay, so this opens up. And you can write lots of space to write there. And you just tie it back. Nice little frilly bow. And then here as well, even more. It is stuffed. Lots of stuff stuffed everywhere. Little recipe cards. And they fold out, so it could fit quite a bit. I'm put two in there. But you can definitely fit more. So that goes like that. That goes like that. And then you have this little um, metal. Um, it's a little acorn and a wooden leaf. And then here, this is just pretty paper. You can use it as a journal card. And then I've got these little mushrooms here. So 
you can see. Goes in that little pocket. Over here, another little tag bookmark. Sorry for all the glue all over my hands, but I'm a crafter. I don't have pretty hands, I have crafter hands. A journal card I made. So you can write on the back of that. It says they love each other dearly. And if you get my pun, there's deer on the front. And then there's um, bee, honeycomb. And then this is uh, acorns. I mean, not acorns. <laughs> what am I saying? Pine cones. This is the back part of the napkin ring. So I took it off and then glued it here. It's got a nice little green foresty feel to it. This is a vintage jeweled leaf. And then here, we have a wolf. It says family because wolves are in their pack, family pack. And then this is the back cover. Lots of collage, decoupage going on there. Mushrooms and koala and moths. And I made this mushroom out of felt. And this is really neat. My husband um, saves his tea bags for me. And I press them out so they're flat. So I took these two paper frames. I glued the tea bag to the backs of each side. And then I um, glued the frames together so it's a little pocket. And there's just some tea stained paper you can journal on. I just love that. Reuse, repurpose, keep things from landfills. And that tucks into there. And that is it. It's quite a lot. So, my big fat chunky one, and uh, go check out my small nature journal as well they would um, be nice little companions for each other or separately doesn't matter um but yeah so uh, i write uh, i wrote and published a, and i'm still writing um more a nature-based curriculum called magic forest academy and uh, so i have studied a lot of nature and uh, that's why little ants that come in it's not a lot of ants but every once in a while a little ant comes crawling along it doesn't really bother me uh, anyway, that is it. Thank you and bye for now.